Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my celebration spotlight video day two. There is less than a week left of celebration Stampin' Up's twice annual uh, promotion now where you can choose free gifts when you order $50 or more in the online store. You can shop with me at juliedavison.com slash shop. All this ends September 30th, so you want to make sure that you get your order in before September 30th so you can get your freebies. In this series of videos, I am showcasing all the different um, gifts that you can choose from when you place an order and sharing some projects using that gift. So today, I am spotlighting the Feels Like Home stamp set, which is on page six of the Celebration brochure. I'll also be using the Beautifully Penned designer paper as a, as a supporting product <laughs> but I'll be showcasing that again on a different video. Uh, give me a thumbs up or heart if you can see the entire uh, catalog or the entire brochure in the um, in the picture. Sometimes when I start my videos it, like it only shows the center. So give me a thumbs up, give me a heart. Let me know that you can see everything okay. Um, we are live every day with these Celebration Spotlight videos at 1 p.m. Central Time on Facebook and then posting afterwards on YouTube. So leave me a comment. Let me know, are you watching on Facebook? Or are you watching on YouTube? It is currently Saturday, September 25th. Uh, so let me know what you're doing today. I am stamping, working, getting some kits out in the mail. Um, and yeah, just hanging out with the family. Oh, I'm so glad everything looks good. We will jump right in. I just wanted to make sure before I started that everything looks good and I'm seeing your comments and you guys say, yes, everything looks good. So hello everybody. Hi Janice and Michelle and Janet and Sherry and Dee and Michelle and Sherry and Tony and Tanya and Kay and... Mo and Nancy, I'm so glad you guys are joining me live today. Okay, so we're focusing on Feels Like Home. Did you guys get this stamp set? It is not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not totally my style because I don't love to color. Um, and if you guys watch me, you know that I don't love to color. Well, let's take a quick look at some of these samples. Do you see the three samples they show using that? Only one of them have they colored in. So I felt like, okay, I could do this. <laughs> I was very inspired by this one where they didn't stamp the door at all. And also very inspired by the background on this one. So this is actually a technique that I'm going to um, use today. Um, are you, do you love to color? Is this kind of your thing? That just scares scares the heck out of me. <laughs> I feel totally intimidated by coloring such a fine art, fine, fine line art image as this one. This is a rubber, um, a rubber stamp set. So, uh, you can, you'll get great detail when, when stamping that. Although I think I need to re-ink my black pad. Anyway, the beautifully penned paper is a 12 by 12 designer paper that is black and white. We sort of have this like, it's like watercolor black. So it kind of looks gray and white in some of the pieces. So let me show you first some samples. I honestly don't have many. I think I actually sent quite a few of mine out already um, as thank you cards. But like I said, I was inspired by the catalog and I created both of these um, for cards that I swapped earlier in the celebration season. And so you can see I didn't color the door at all. I used the colors uh, Blushing Bride and Basic Gray to create these sort of monochromatic cards with just the pop of pink. Um, and then here's a card from Deb Snyder and I was inspired by how she colored just the door. I thought that was really, really clever um, as a way to get out of coloring the whole thing. But I love the pop of red and then with the ribbon uh, behind it. So here's a card that I created inspired by um, Deb's. And honestly, I'm not really happy with my card. I was going for kind of a layout that didn't work out. I think I need to tweak it and like maybe layer it out a little bit more. But um, today's card is not going to feature the door at all. <laughs> I'm going to use just the tulip image and also the little like foliage uh, image to create today's card. Let me show you those stamps on here. So it's this stamp and this stamp in the... Um, in the stamp set. And this is kind of like what I was going for. I thought that was really clever how they created the background using those two stamps. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go with those same colors, Blushing Bride and um, 
in basic gray because I really loved the way those cards turned out. I've got a little bit of the paper that I'm using, so I punched this one with the Everyday Label Punch, and then I've got all of the stripes to use at the bottom of the card. And so for the background, I'm going to do this on the Blushing Bride cardstock, and I'm gonna do tone on tone with Blushing Bride ink. So let's grab a scrap paper. I'm going to stamp off the edges. So I'm using, again, Blushing Bride ink with the Blushing Bride cardstock. You could easily substitute um, any color for this card design. So I'm going to first start by creating a grid with the leaves, and I'm just going to stamp them diagonally down the cardstock from one edge to the other. Definitely you want to keep the design going and like go off the edge if there's a little more to go. Then after you do one line, you can go uh, perpendicular perpendicularly <laughs> and um, every time like in between you're going to add one that's going the other direction so now you're just going to keep going with that grid so just keep boxing it out and build your grid all the way across the cardstock until you have completed your background so I'm just going to keep going here and Add it the other way. I was surprised how easy it was to line this up. I think sometimes I overthink things, right? Like, <laughs> oh, it's gonna be too hard, but like it really, it came together pretty easy. So after I do the leaves and the diagonal sort of cubes and grips, I'm gonna go back and add the tulips right in the center. I really love this look, sort of like, a, um, is Baroque the right word? Like, um, there's, a, oh, it's like I'm on the tip of my tongue. This sort of style, which again, it's not like my typical style. <laughs> um, but it's fun sometimes to try new things and stretch outside your comfort zone. So I've created, I filled in the entire piece with this pattern. And this is going to be the background for my card. Yes, Sherry, damask. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> it's so not my style that I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> oh, yes. So I love, I kind of love that look with it. So um, this is going to go on the card and sort of be like the top. But um, I wanted to create like a little bit of texture. And so I'm just going to tear um, across the card and create kind of a jagged line and then the lines are going to kind of fill in the bottom okay so this is going to go on the card base this is such a such a simple design for this um this stamp set like i said definitely not into coloring <laughs> the clean and simple is more my speed but you can still make amazing cards and it's a free stamp set so if you love it even just a little bit, you should get it because it's free. So you can get this Feels Like Home stamp set free with a $50 order during celebration, or you can choose something else like the beautifully penned designer paper. Okay, so now we're going to stamp a sentiment. I cut myself an extra one just in case I messed up. <laughs> and I'm stamping the words, I can't thank you enough. And this card goes out to all of my customers who have placed orders with me in September. I just can't thank you enough. It has been um, a crazy month. And so I just want to say an extra thank you. If you order from me, um, you get a free project kit when you order $40 or more. And I always send those out at the end of the month. So if you order in September, I'll be sending them out like the first week or two of October. I, I just do it all at the same time at the end of the month because it's more efficient that way. And you'll get a thank you card from me. Um, I've, been, I've been trying to be better about sending uh, emails right away, but sometimes life is just crazy. So if you haven't gotten an email from me yet, uh, it's coming. I'm sorry, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for supporting my small business. It truly means the world to me. Okay, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to add this 
um, little strip. This is about um, a half inch by two and three quarter inches. And I'm gonna add this across the punch out of the designer paper, a little more, a uh, little more design and pattern back there. And then I'm gonna layer this onto the card. One last little touch, um, and this is coming more from the designer paper. I loved these little leaves. And so I'm going to use the, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is called. Uh, from the annual catalog, this border punch. Let me look it up really quick. It is bundled together with the Sweet Symmetry, um, In Symmetry Sweet bundle. Um, and you can also get it separately. So it's a border punch. I'm gonna show you how the border punch works, but we're actually gonna use the piece that we're punching out. So here, here it is. Um, so the symmetrical stems border punch is what we're using, and you can get it um, bundled together with the in symmetry stamp set. Let me show you that really quick. This is on page 113 of the annual catalog. And for celebration, you can order for the mini catalog or the the annual catalog, uh, you can order from any catalog and qualify to get the free gifts um, during celebration. So it's a great time to stack up on cardstock, adhesive, envelopes, things like that. So here is the stamp set that you can get bundled with this. Um, <laughs> I forgot the name of it already. Um, the punch symmetrical stems border punch. Let me show you how the border punch works, okay? So I've got just a long piece of cardstock here. I'm gonna start by um, punching in the center. These are the two pieces that I'm going to use for my card. But if you wanted to make a border at the bottom of your card, you would then line up the images that you just punched with the silver images here on the side. So I'm gonna line up that and punch again, and line up this and punch again. And so you, you can do a whole border across the bottom of your card or your scrapbook page or whatever it is that you're punching. So that's how the border punch works. You use those images on the side to line up what you punch in the center in order to get it evenly spaced across. So symmetrical stems border. This is going to be just a little bit. Look how awesome that coordinates with this designer paper. I just realized it today how well it goes. So I'm going to add those like this using some glue dots. We're going to just stick stick those in there. And that's going to be it. So we're keeping it super simple today. Um, of course, you can dress up your cards as much or as little as you want. So if you want to add some ribbon or rhinestones, I think those would be fun additions to this card. But I really, I like the, just the simplicity of, um, of just having the little punch outs. So I'm trying to get them underneath, but there's a stamp and dimensional that's kind of in my way. Oh, well, there we go. I'll have it stick up just a little bit. I just can't, well, I guess it doesn't say that. It doesn't say just. It says, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> There's our finished card, although I'm realizing that I really need something on the inside. So I'm going to just do that really fast. I trying to make an effort to always do something on the inside, especially for dark cardstock like this. So this is the basic gray um, cardstock. And so you definitely want to have uh, something on the inside so you can see what you're writing. So let's do, um, where's our pink ink pad? We can do a pot of flowers here in the corner. And then what stamps do we have in this set? Maybe there's a good inside sentiment. Um, I, I can't thank you enough. And then you could do your friendship feels like home to me or I'm always here for you. I kind of like that on the inside. I'm always here for you. So let's just add that right in the center. Okay. Easy peasy, clean and simple, and a card that doesn't have the door in it. Did you think it was possible? <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this background. Is this a card that you would make? Or are you more in love with the big door image? There are so many ways to use the Feels Like Home stamps out, whether you're stamping the door or not. Let me take these out of the plastic. <laughs> I love... 
I love sort of this set of cards all using the Feels Like Home stamp set. I hope that you do too. That is it for spotlight number two today, but be sure to come back tomorrow. I'm not sure which of the celebration products I'll be spotlighting next. If there's something that you would like to see in particular, leave a comment and let me know. I'll be featuring a new product in a daily video every day until celebration ends on September 30th. So make sure you get your order in and get your favorite freebies before they're gone. You can shop in my online store at Julie Davis com slash shop. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.